I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel, Yogre Organics. In this video, we will see the important instructions for the candidates for counseling of PG and PhD. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture, education and counseling related videos in English. So you can share our channel with your friends also. So in this video, we will see clear information and the instructions for the candidates for ICR counseling. This procedure was for the year 2023, but same will be repeated for the year 2024 also. So once the counseling registration has been started, so we cannot give video for this uh, information. So I am giving this video now only because the instructions remain same for every year. So there will not be any change in this instructions. So you can clearly note down all these instructions and you can do the choice filling and you can prepare for the choice filling accordingly. So here for the first instruction what they have given was the candidates who scored zero or negative marks in the IEAEA PG are not eligible to participate in the counseling. So same will be for PhD also. So if you have scored negative marks or the zero mark, you cannot participate in the counseling. This is uh, this was for UG also. Next is uh, there will be four rounds of counseling and mop up round if needed. But this year we don't know how many rounds they may keep. They may keep only three rounds and upgradation will be permitted in the first, second and third rounds only. If they are conducting only three rounds of counseling and the upgradation will be permitted only during the first and second round. So how many rounds they are conducting that's we have to see. And another one important information is uh, this year uh, many universities have already started the classes for PG and PhD. Example BHU and uh, Gujarat Agriculture Universities. Many of the universities have already started classes. So in order to uh, go along with the uh, time for choice filling, uploading of documents, everything will become very shorter and the time between uh, one counseling and next counseling also will be very short. So the duration will be short. So you have to take care of all these things and you have to prepare for physical admission and verification the documents as soon as possible. So you have to be clear with all the documents what I have mentioned in that earlier video. So all these things you have to take care before counseling only. Next is uh, ICR does not allot college to the students, ICR allots universities to the candidates. So here important information, ICR will not allot any college, they will allot only university. For example, under US there, what? there are uh, three to four colleges, they will not allot college, they will allot only university. So if you are getting US Darwat, either it is uh, Darwat campus or uh, in Vijayapura campus or in some other campus, the decision belongs to university only. So this is for UG, PG and PhD. And, uh, for all the courses so that one you have to take care whereas allotment of constituent colleges of the university they will allot only in the constituent colleges not in the affiliated colleges constituent college means that is a government college affiliated college means it will be the private college which may be at different location from the main campus allotted shall be regulated by university itself next is what they have given us category wise merit based choice of the candidates could be one of the criteria it can be one, one of the criteria only it is not the mandatory criteria they may allot based on your ug mark or ug grade like that also so that is this uh, merit list may be one of the criteria for allotting the campus but maximum of the universities will allot based on this merit list only so you no need to worry for this if you are getting uh, uh, that particular university in first round or second round you may get uh, main campus but if you are getting in mop up round like that you may get in sub campuses only because many students uh, those who get seat in mop up round or in fourth round they will be allotted to some of the sub campuses only whatever may be the university next is uh, the candidate should note that having four or five or five and a half years or six years uh, that is uh, 10 plus 6 bsc ag yes ug degree is essential requirement for admission to master programs for example if you are uh, coming for MSc related programs and master's related programs. So you should have completed in this stream only. You should not have got three years degree. So ICER will not consider that three years degree. The equivalence of degrees will be decided by the admitting university only as per UGC, result, uh, as per UGC rules. If you have studied any course along with uh, agriculture in some places, it's like agriculture and food technology, BS agriculture and food technology like that courses and all. So if you have attended those courses and if you are applying for uh, some agriculture related courses in MSc so that eligibility that will be considered as equivalence BS agriculture is equal to BSc agriculture and food technology like that so that equivalence will be dependent on that particular university but um, I hope uh, no one will face this issue because all may have studied only BS agriculture or BSc food technology like that courses only and the next is the candidate having passed three years bachelor program are not eligible for admission through AIEA so this will be for this year also Consequent uh, counseling except at two ICR deemed universities that is IRI and NDRI only they are offering some few courses in which if you have studied your UG in that uh, three year stream so you are eligible for that courses. Next is uh, 
for which the alternate eligibility qualification of concerned deemed university would prevail for admission. So they will take care of that one. I hope no one, no one will be with that three years degree. Next is for admission in MBSC candidates must have completed BBSC and AH with internship at the time of verification of the counselling and during counselling in the allotted university. Next is the admission of the candidate shall be valid for the academic session in which the examination has been conducted by ACR. So if you have attended uh, this in the year 2024, this admission is valid for the year 2024 only. That means 2024 to 25 and 25 to 26. Only this year it is uh, valid. You cannot claim it. You cannot join it in the next year. Uh, next is ICR will not held responsible for denying admission to ineligible candidates by any of the agriculture universities under uh, ICR EIU system. You may understand this one. In case any a degree from particular college or university is not considered uh, for admission by AU on account of a particular college of university being de-recognized by VCA or UGC or due to court directives, ICR will not be responsible for admitting students of that college or university in the university is not willing to admit uh, such a candidates. Well, if you have already completed your UG in some universities, in that, uh, that particular university, that um, course has been disqualified or something happened, so or it is a uh, disrecognized. So, um, if you are going to any new university for uh, IC, uh, new university for your MSc, due to that particular issue, if your degree was disqualified or it was disrecognized by UGC, so you may not be able to get admission in this particular university. So that one you have to take care. Next is uh, against the total number of ICR quotas available for particular degree program, not more than 40 percentage of ICR seat would be from the same state. For example, there are uh, 10 seats in particular department. So among that, you consider you are from Tamil Nadu. From the particular state, only four students should be, that is 40 percent, only maximum number of 40 percentage of the students only from the particular uh, only one state. If uh, you consider uh, there are 10 seats in some department in IRA. For the 10 seats, among the 10th ranks, 6 students are from Tamil Nadu. So among the 6 students, only first to 4 rank students will get IRA. Remaining 2 uh, rank students, that means 5th and 6th rank student will not get IRA because uh, as per IHA rules, only 40 percentage of the students can be from the same state. And that remaining 2 students will get some other uh, universities or institutes what they have given next in the preference. So this will be pertained for all the years. Next is candidate declared eligible for registration and choice filling are advised to remain in touch with the universities. This is one of the important things. So ICER will not be responsible for any delay. So you have to be in contact with your university and you have to check all your university website. So in which you have allotted and you have to go for physical reporting, admission, everything. And you cannot blame ICR or any other YouTube channels like us for not mentioning this one because it is your sole responsibility to be in touch with your allotted university. All admitting universities has instructed to follow the eligibility criteria prescribed by ICR. So this one they will follow even for this particular 2024 also. These are the important instructions that are uh, very important for the candidates those who are going to do for the academic year 2024 for PG and PhD. Hope this video will be very useful to you and in the next video we can see the important instructions for MAPAP round. Thank you.